In uh, Dana's absence tonight, I'm calling the uh, Panda TV 23 board meeting to order for uh, March 18th, 2015. And the first item on the agenda will be the treasurer's report from Mary Ann. Okay. Should we make an announcement that Rebecca is sitting in for Ted via the phone? Yes. Yes. Rebecca is in that telephone. <laughs> She's right here, folks. Filling in for Ted, who is unfortunately ill tonight. Oh, dear. Yes. Um, so you, you all have the um, the financial report, of course, just till the end of February. But we did get the checks from the town of Red Hook and the town of Rhinebeck, so um, those have been deposited. So you got checks from both the, the, the yeah, both towns. Both towns, uh huh. Good. Right, and um, so far everything is um, is on on track. Um, our studio policy for in case we say something blasphemous and get sued, um, that was our biggest expense this in the month of February. The, the studio? The, it, um, we call it the studio policy. Oh, the insurance policy. Right, it's, be, it's because of our broadcast ability. So if we broadcast something inflammatory and we get sued. Which we have never done. Right, no. Not just here, but any any of the programs that go out on the right, air. Right, right. Yep, exactly. Um, so that's been paid, and that was our biggest expense for the whole month. Everything else is very small. And that's for the year. Yes, that's for the whole year. And I noticed here, I have two, I, think we went, through, I went through this last year too. Our uh, d &O liability and our workers' comp is both exactly the same amount. And I'm going to have to check on that, but I think I went through that last year too, and it because it was the same amount. But anyway, we just have very small expenses so far. I haven't bought anything big yet. Uh, we're planning to though. But Good. that's that's the whole thing, and and David's got even better financial news. Right. We, steal your thunder. That's okay. We <laughs> we received a, a grant from the Frost Foundation for fifty five hundred dollars on Monday mm -hmm. for the purchase of another camera and uh, computer with mm -hmm. editing software to edit the programs. Mm -hmm. And we really want to thank the Frost Foundation for their generous support mm -hmm. of Panda. Thank you. How much was it? Fifty five hundred dollars. Fifty five eighty two. Uh -huh. Here's the letter. Okay. Yeah. And it's already deposited. <laughs> it's for new equipment. For new equipment. Yeah. That's what we requested. That's what we requested from right. them. Which, oddly enough, we need right now, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Always. Yes. Right. So do we have a motion to approve the treasurer's report? I'll make a motion to approve it. A second? I'll second it. Okay. All Thank those you. in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Okay. The report is accepted. Okay. So the next item will be the station manager's report. Um, I don't have much of a station manager's report to report. Um, we are in the middle of a power of a outage right now. Okay, uh, station manager's report. So our station is down right now. Um, obviously, you turn to the channel and you can't see anything, so you'll know that we're down. Um, if you're seeing this, our station is back up. <laughs> um, we are expected to be back up by Friday, which would be the... 19th, 20th. the 20th. The so first day of spring. First, first day, day of spring, spring we're lucky. Yes. Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, we got only 14 programs since our last meeting, which is a record low for Panda. Bad winter. Yeah. Um, we did get the Frost Grant. I have the original request that we sent to them here with the breakdown of what we wanted. And how much it was worth. And they added the whole thing. Um, they did. Mm -hmm. um, they no longer carry this camera. Yeah. That's right. That's understandable. That prices so we'll would change, get... equipment would change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The whole goal and justification was to get a new camera for us and to loan out to the public mm -hmm. and uh, a new uh, laptop mm -hmm. with Final Cut, which we already have a copy of to Final have Cut, a to be able to a portable station to edit the programs to air on there. And that was what they wanted to support us with. And I'm sure if there are adjustments here or there, or you wanted to get some extra batteries or SD cards for the camera or whatever else we needed, or the lavalier microphones, which we need for the camera, which was in the, that was in part yes. of the request. Uh, there was a new tripod in here, <clears throat> a bag for the camera, 
wireless, a set of wireless mics was $500. So we're definitely going to get a, a nice set of wireless mics right. with that. And batteries and SD cards, like David said. Because um, we're going to need a lot. A lot so of those we'll put things. that together. And then we'll send a, uh, a thank you note in a couple of months to the Frost Foundation, thanking them and telling them you know, what we've done and what we've purchased and what, what we're using it for and how it's helped Panda. And that was, that's what they just asked for in the last sentence of the, of the, of the letter. Yeah. Okay. Sounds okay. good to me. So that, that's very good for us. We should also maybe make a, a, a graphic that we can run for a few months, maybe like <coughs> summer. Just, you know, like we, that part of the calendar okay. that specifically thanks them. That would be great. I'll have, I'll have Chris get right on that. Mm -hmm. You know, using their logo and that sort of thing. Simple. Can we, can we get Chris's logo? Okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah. That's a very easy logo. Mm -hmm. That's what station managers report. Yeah. Well, you're awesome. also talking about the uh, streaming. Working oh, that's screen. right. I knew there was something I'm missing. So, for those of you who follow our meetings and for the board who um, backed me up trying to get live streaming, um, we were presented last month with a solution that was at low cost to us to get our live stream back up. When I called the company to set those components up, the customer service representative that I spoke to told me that what I was trying to do was not going to be possible. Why? And that I asked them why and how did you know David Berman get mm -hmm. conflicting information. Um, and I was immediately on the phone with David and, and he called back and I called back and we kept getting the same answers that it wouldn't work, that it wouldn't work, that it wouldn't work. So somebody basically <coughs> Gave him the answer that he wanted to hear to make a sale that wouldn't have solved our problems anyway. And all of the other options were, were way out of our budget. So I think the live stream is going to be a no-go. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to do is get a hold of our web developer to see if we can make a more user-friendly website where... Instead of having a live stream, we can have what we would call a landing page, which would have the schedule of, for the day, and we can like embed our links into the schedule. So if somebody wants to see a Rhinebeck Historical Society video that plays at 7 p.m. on Sunday night, they can just play it from the schedule page and watch it at their leisure. And how about the archived programs? Um, the archived programs will stay. Um, so they're not going to be touched. We're going to keep archiving all the board meetings and everything like that like we normally do. Um, in the bylaws it says we have to keep them up to, I think it was a year. I have like three years back and I have no interest in getting rid of them as long as we have the space for it. And YouTube doesn't seem to mind how long you leave videos up. No, because we're a non-profit. <coughs> they, they leave me alone. We're a non-profit and a lot of our stuff is political. So, so they just leave me alone. I have unlimited time, unlimited space. So no keep going. It down. Yeah, there's no point. Um, I do keep hard copies too of of of, of the DVDs just in case. That's you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, bad news for me as far as the streaming is concerned. Fight that I have fought so hard for to get you know. How was it possible that we had live streaming before? What made that work? The way that it was set up was through UStream, and basically it would stream fine until more than one user would watch it. And that's what kept, remember how I kept saying, I don't know what's bringing it down? Yeah. As soon as a second person clicked into it, the whole, the whole stream would come down. So that option is still available, it's just pointless. Mm -hmm. It really is, because I was coming in on weekends, nights, to, to bring it back up to keep it running, and I finally got fed up, and that's when I told you guys, I'm shutting down the live stream until I figure out a better solution. Mm -hmm. The best solution is a very expensive solution. And it's just, David, he said he called about 10 different um, uh, hosting companies and that none of them cater to a smaller market television station like a public access or a peg channel. Um, and, and the prices were pretty. If you saw the, the original presentation that he gave us last month, the, the prices just got higher and higher and higher for yeah. the solutions. Our, our church live streams, live streams on Sunday morning and and um, Thursday night Bible study is live stream, and oh, and those videos are also archived. I could you know dial in. I could go to the website anytime and, and watch.
watch what I didn't watch. Maybe. I'll, I'll find out from them yeah, maybe what they live stream know. program. But it too has gone down in right. the past. If too many people are watching, it's probably bringing well, it down. Well, we, we like a lot of people to watch it. And, um, yeah, if you can find out what they're using. I'll, I'll find out. Right. Mm -hmm. We'll see. The other thing I asked Danielle to look into was the people who don't have access to a computer. The uh, Time Warner does not list the TV guide. <clears throat> it just says public access, public access. It doesn't tell you what's on. And you need to go to the web to see what the schedule is and say, oh, at 9 o'clock is this program I wanted to see. So if there's some simple or easy way to, as part of the community calendar, or some way that we could take the daily schedule and have it scrolling as part of the community calendar go, what's coming next? Or at least the next six or 12 hours or something like that. Some way to do it easily or simply so there isn't a lot of maintenance and headaches to maintain it, but at least give the people who only have Panda on their television to see what the TV guide is and say, ah, I will tune in at 10 o'clock tomorrow night to see this program. You know, yeah, well, I used to do that with recurring programs. I'd say, uh, for, for instance, uh, the Rhinebeck meetings are Right. You can always Monday, say that. Monday, Monday, Monday through Friday. We do with the meetings. Yeah, with the meetings, but it's, it's a bit more difficult to do with, with with other scheduled shows. But when we're getting so little programming, and I'm programming the heck out of these videos, it's not that difficult to do. Um, we would need to get a little bit more time because Chris does the community calendar in a week to cover any extra. I can't imagine what I would be doing is copy and pasting. The information that I want her to plug and she would put it in the next day, so maybe an extra hour a week is if that's not a big yeah. deal. Um, I gave her a heads up that we wanted to start doing this, and then I wanted to talk to her about some ideas how we can do it and do it nicely. She's completely all for it as long as she, that you were okay with it mm -hmm. and the board was okay with it. Um, however, she's out of town um, for a couple more days, so hopefully we'll be able to get that. But that would be great because it would benefit the people who do not have access to a computer. To be able to see what's on, what the TV guide right. is for Panda. Right. See, because I think Time Warner wants like about 10 days lead time for Which a program. Is, yeah. that, that's pretty tough. Yeah. yeah. For, for this station, with the meeting schedule and everything, sometimes I have a meeting on Monday that airs on Wednesday, and I don't even know how long that meeting is until I get it. Right. So then I have to do all my programming around that meeting, which um, airs now four times a day because. I'm getting so little programming mm -hmm. that instead of playing the same old programming over and over again, I actually designated another time slot for a meeting. Mm -hmm. So now the meetings play at 7 a.m., noon, 4 p.m., and 8 p.m., which yeah. is something else I should have said in my station's manager report. <laughs> and that's Monday through Friday on their dedicated day. So, so I can't do that programming around it until I get the meeting, and it makes it really, really hard for lead time and programming in advance. That's why when people look on the schedule and there's nothing programmed for next, like there's nothing programmed for this Friday yet, because I don't have the Tivoli meeting. Tivoli meeting is tonight. It's a bad week to, to use as an example, considering the station is down, but mm -hmm. as long as that's understood, I'm happy. But, you know, I think we're making good progress with the new equipment, with the trying to work on the scheduling and mm -hmm. the benefit us. Yeah. So do we have any other old business? No. Old, oh, no. The stream was old business. I can't think of anything else that's outstanding. Any new business? I guess our only new business is that Dana wishes to step down as, right. as a chairman and we wish of that the you, board. You, and we wish that you step up to be chairman of the board. Can you hear us, Rebecca? Yes, I can. Okay. So, um, I would be happy to make a motion to make David, what we can accept, David's going to stay on the board, as far as we know. Uh, yes? Yes, she wants okay. to be an alternate, but she doesn't have somebody to switch with just Right, yet. so we, okay. she'll stay on the board until we get an alternate, and then they can switch. But in the meantime, I make a motion that David become chairman of the board. So that they know would be able to step down. I second that motion. Okay. And okay. We're and we're voting. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Vote for myself. Okay. So it's one, one, two, three, four. You, you have to abstain. I don't have a vote. Yeah. So it's four. four. So. And I said yes. <laughs> and, and Rebecca says yes. So, so it's official. Yes. It's Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Right. <laughs>
Might as well tell them. Now we're all going to Rebecca's for cookies. <laughs> and play dates. And play dates. We have Oh, okay. Even better. That's us knocking on your door. We're there already. <laughs> What's left? I think uh, we've covered everything. So. Anything that you want to raise there, Rebecca? No, I think this is great. Oh, okay. I would like to meet with you, Rebecca, um, to discuss some press release stuff sure. from when we decide what we're doing for the website so we can put out a press release to um, River Chronicle and whoever else might be interested in getting it. Mm -hmm. that, and, you know. and did you want to do a press release about the uh, grant? Oh, we should. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's a good, good idea. We should thank them on the scroll and we should, if we open a press release, we should thank them as well. Okay. Right. For the grant. Yes, I would. Um, if we'll talk, uh, I'll email you later. Maybe okay. we can set something okay. up for next week. Okay. Great. Motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Sure. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we're adjourned. <laughs> we are adjourned. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>